Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on while you're down there and also while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today we're going to be talking about a DBT skill. Now this is a mindfulness activity wait 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 I feel like mindfulness has such a negative connotation with it it's just like oh they just told me to do mindfulness that's not gonna help but I think what we need to understand is that mindfulness may not be the cure but it's definitely a stepping stone onto the platform if that makes sense today we're going to be looking at wise mind so wise mind is this yes I'm using my old handouts from mindfulness from when I did DBT. So you have reasonable mind, which is cool, rational, task focused. When in reasonable mind, you are ruled by fact. Values and feelings are not important. Then we have emotional mind, which is hot, mood dependent, emotion focused. When in emotion mind, you're ruled by your mood, feelings, urges to do or say things. Facts, reason, and logic are not important. Then in the middle you have wise mind the wisdom within each person seeing the value of both reason and emotion bringing left brain and right brain together the middle path what wise mind does is it takes both your emotional thinking and your reasonable thinking and smushes them together to create wise mind why is that's why wise mind is a rational it gives you good judgment the important thing to remember though is no one is no one is in wise mind all the time so in reasonable mind you have calm cool, collected, rational thinking and logical mind, not driven by emotions, based on logic and fact verified by others, examples used to figure out the fastest way from point A to point B, emotional mind, hot hot mind, out of control, impulsive, reactive, heightened emotional arousal, emotions control thinking and behaviour. Emotional mind is why people turn to self-harm, suicide, drugs, alcohol, to cope. So yeah, this has just been a little DBT skills episode of my channel. Episode? What the fuck am I on about? Moment on my channel. I don't talk about DBT very often because personally I did not have a good experience with it. However, that because just because I had that experience with it doesn't mean anyone else had that experience with it. I will make a video on my experience with DBT. But yeah, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching and if you're new, subscribe. Peace.